what is going on fishing groups welcome back to the channel today we're going to do something uh that any of you guys could do you probably looked looked at how to do it um before to your kayak you know i've done a bunch of different watched a bunch of different videos on how to do this but what i'm going to do today is attempt to make a no drill anchor system for my seacoast 130. um i'm not sure about you guys but i do not want to drill holes in my kayak i just I just don't feel right doing it. My philosophy is boats should not have holes in them. So the less they have, the better. You utilize two of these small pulleys like this and one of these inch and a half rings. And you'll see how it looks towards the end. But uh, I think that's the route we're gonna go, at least for the time being, see how it goes. Uh, like I said, I don't, I really don't want to, um, drill any holes in the kayak so I'm gonna try this out see see how it feels push them to shove I'll get a few more things I need to do exactly what I want to with it but for now that's the route we're going all right so I'm not sure if you guys can tell let me take you off of this mount here but on, this is the paddle rest for the Seagos 130 if you look at this little clamp here there's a hole there. And then we're going to utilize this back handle here. What I'm planning on doing is... I'm going to run a piece of paracord through this hole here. And knot it off. And then from there, I'm going to tie one of my pulleys to the other end. And I want it to kind of sit right about here on the side of my kayak. Just like that. Higher or lower, it doesn't matter. I want to just make sure it's snug with my knot. Turn the excess off, and then we'll melt it down, mushroom it out, make sure it doesn't back out. All right, guys. So, as you see, there's the loop in the top. Tied it to this to sit right about there on the kayak once it's put together. Give or take a little bit depending on the weight. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize one of these rings and some more paracord to make the entire loop. This loop and the rest of the paracord to make one continuous loop that's gonna be the anchor trolley. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to film it, so what I'll do is I'll just come back to you once it's done, and we'll talk about it and see what we think. All right, guys, I think I'm pretty much done with it. Um, excuse a little method of tripod I'm using. I'm, uh, I don't have my tripod out here. I'm using Scotty GoPro mount for my kayak that sits you on, but um, I just have it roughed in right now in case I want to change anything or tighten anything up. But for the most part, I think we're done. Um, start from the front. You can see right here where we started down to the pulley, right here. And then we're going, we made a continuous loop all the way through the front and the back one. And I wanted my top line through here so that way whatever's pulled by the anchor, it's not gonna be just the bottom loop. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not, but we're going to go with it this time. But all you're going to do is take your top line and pull it in the direction you want it to go. And that's how that works. 
And the object of this, well, I'm gonna take it to the back first. I'm gonna take it to this pulley here. And as the weight of the, the anchor comes to the back, it'll fall down a little bit. And we have it tied off to the, to the back handle. But um, like I was explaining to my daughter right then, she was like, why do you have this like that? Um, the reason why is, all right, so pretend this is my anchor line. I have a small carabiner tied to it. But what it would do is it would go through this loop and attach to my kayak somewhere. Probably not here, but for the sake of the video, put it that pad out of there. And it's just gonna go straight down through the loop there into the water. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna carry that line to the front or the back of the kayak, wherever I want it to be at. So my anchor line will be up to here. Or like I said, if I want to pull it to the back, vice versa. Same concept. You pull it back here, you pull some of the slack down, and that's what we're looking at. But um, I'm gonna run with this for a little while, just to see if I enjoy it, if I like it. Um, I'm not sure that I will, just because when we're at this area, when we're at this location with the anchor, it might be kind of weighed down. I could just tighten it up a little bit and probably be okay. But all in all, I think it'll serve its purpose. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll do a test run and I'll update you guys on what I think about it after the test run. But for now, that's all I got for you. I hope that you liked the video. I hope it helped you out. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you liked the video and want to come back and watch some more, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Turn it from red to silver, and that means you're subscribed. If you want updates and notifications on when I post new videos, click the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, and that'll do that. It'll keep you notifications every time I post a brand new video. But um, for now, that's all I got for you. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you next time. Good brow.